So for a while, I thought about getting just a really basic phone, ditching the smartphone, just getting a £10 Tesco burner phone. There is this theory that if you just have like a really basic phone, it will improve your life. You'll be happier. You'll be more productive. You, you won't spend as much time wasted um, like so many of us do on our smartphones. But for me, I feel a smartphone it's just very useful. It's a tool at the end of the day. And if a tool is used correctly, it should benefit the user. It's not that I couldn't live without a smartphone. It's just, I think if used well, I would rather, I wouldn't want to live without a smartphone. It's not that I couldn't, it's just, I would prefer not to, if used well. You go anywhere with a smartphone, you know, you've got a, a perfectly reasonable camera in your pocket. You've got pinpoint GPS navigation to anywhere in the world. One thing I like doing with my smartphone is when I'm out for a walk with the dogs, I use the OS Maps, Ornn Survey Maps app, you know, explore new footpaths, explore new bridal ways, and it's much better than just having the paper version. So if a tool, if used correctly, will improve your life, but if it's used badly, it can easily take away from your life. And I think that's the real balance that people need to get with smartphones. You know, it's, it's easy to see why smartphone addiction happens, right? There's definitely an asymmetrical battlefield. On one side, you've got the smartest minds in the world in Silicon Valley, spending millions of dollars researching and developing new apps, new platforms, um, new software. And on the other side of that battlefield, you've got you. So you've got the smartest minds in the world that uh, you know, have loads of money to spend in R&D. And they've you know, a long history of producing apps and software. And they know what works. They know what triggers dopamine responses. They know what lights up your limbic system. Um, so it's very much like an unfair battlefield, but as long as you're aware of the asymmetrical battlefield, as long as you're aware that a phone is a hyper stimulant and there are obviously people out there that want you to be hyper stimulized and become addicted to their product. Um, but as long, as long as you maintain the relationship between your phone as tool and master, and you you're always aware that you should be the master of the phone and the phone doesn't become the master of you, then you've got quite a good balance and the smartphone is actually improving your life. And as long as the smartphone's, you know, improving your life, then it's worth hanging on to. The biggest shift, the biggest change I made that really helped improve the use, the tool and master relationship between myself and my phone was turning it off for at least 12 hours a day. So the phone is off more than it's on. I first started doing this probably over a year ago now. And what I would, what I still do is around dinner time, around six, seven o'clock, uh, I'll turn my phone off. Once, once we're all in, once my girlfriend's back from work, just turn my phone off and then aim to turn it on the next morning. When I leave the house usually, so it'd be like eight, nine o'clock. If I'm not leaving the house, maybe I'll leave it off longer but at least a 12 hour window of the phone being off, that really changes the dynamic between using the phone. I definitely stopped doing the pointless thing of like seeing my phone walking past it and just picking it up and just doing something just totally a waste of time, reading emails, reading messages, checking the news. These are all pointless tasks. Um, if you're gonna send messages, I would definitely recommend just trying to save all the messages up like as you as beeps i always leave my phone on silent because i don't like the beeping i don't even like the vib vibration noise of the phone leave it on silent but once you know messages have accumulated just reply to all those people at once ideally if you have the discipline once a day um if not just a couple of times a day just reply to all the messages people don't need instantaneous responses that's again another thing that i think shifted the world towards a negative people expect instantaneous responses your time is very valuable the time is very valuable to yourself um, and then when you're in, you know, you know, when you're in a moment, like you're at dinner time, you shouldn't be responding to messages. That's a very like important time of the day. Just when you're in a moment, enjoy that moment. Don't be sending WhatsApps. Don't be sending text messages because then that's detracting from your life. So the 12 hour a day rule is critical for me. That was the biggest change in my relationship with my phone. If it, you can have it off more than it's on, then you, you've, you've pretty much won the battle. In my opinion, that alone will definitely shift what well, it did for me. Um, shift shift the experience of using my phone. Now it's not a hard and fast rule. Say my girlfriend's doing night shifts, or you know I'm going out for an evening, something like that. I'll leave my phone on because again, it's a tool. I'm not going to like turn my phone off just just out of like um, 
you know, because of oh, that's the rule, I have to do it. If my girlfriend's at work, then I'll leave on that. But if you can message me if there's an emergency, anything like that. Um, but at least nine days out of 10, probably more than that, the phone's off around 7, 8 p.m. Then things like Sunday, I'll, sometimes I won't even turn the phone on, barely at all. I'll turn it on just before like the, the afternoon, just in case, you know, someone needs to, has sent a message that may be mildly important, something like that. But Sundays, I think it's a, a lovely family day. Just try and have the phone off pretty much the whole day if you can. Uh, besides besides that, I think I've always done this is just not have too many apps, not have too much clutter on the phone. Just have like one home screen. So rather than when you're on home screen scrolling between apps, a any app that you can just do through a website, just do it through a website in my opinion. Have the fewest number of apps as you can. Um, and then the other thing is just having like a cheap phone. So this is like a hundred pound uh, Moto. It's a perfectly reasonable phone. It's actually recording the audio for this video right now. Um, I think if you've got a cheap phone, you're not going to be in love with it. I mean, I'm, I don't really, I'm not really fussed about Apple products. I've never owned an Apple product, but I can see why people love their phones, why they love their Apple products, because they are very nicely designed. But if you have a £1,200 phone in your pocket, you probably are going to love it. But the point of a phone isn't to love it. This is, this is the tool. This gets used and abused. It's out in the elements. It's out in the cold. It gets dropped. That's why the screen is broken on this one. It gets abused, you know, I'm under a car, I'll, you know, this is the torch that's pretty much always with me, so it's in my pocket. It gets used and abused. I try and get at least two years out of a phone, that's my target, so it's a £100 phone, and I, I, I mean, maybe I have to replace this one, because one, I found on previous motos that once the uh, screen breaks, for about a month or two after that, the, the actual touch screen itself stops working. But I'll aim, I'll aim to get two years out of a phone, and for £100, this is a cheap tool in your pocket. It's there to be used. It's there to improve your life. So that's really the big one for me, guys. If you can keep your phone off for 12 hours a day, try it. If you have, if you have feel like using your phone too much, try the 12 hours off a day thing. Try not to have too many apps. Try not to have too much clutter because it's a tool. It's a tool for your pocket and it's a tool to improve your life. Make sure that you are the master and the phone is not the master. And a big way to do that is just having it off more than it's on. Um, it really changed. It really changed my relationship with the phone. Anyway, um, just I think just psychologically, just knowing your phone's off. Now I almost look forward to evening work and just turn the phone off, and there's going to be no more messages. Um, I don't. I don't like the sound on on the phone anyway. I don't even like the sound of it vibrating, so it's, it's always on like mute anyway. But just get to that point in the evening, turn the phone off, completely relax, spend time with your friends and family, and um, and that's that's all from me, guys. So that's just my tips on on phones, phone addiction. It's a serious thing that can easily detract from, from your life, but a phone can also add to your life. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.